What's up everyone? Today we're quarantined in the BMW. So if you get really good audio, that's why. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Today we're going to do a real quick repair on the, probably the biggest issue I have with this BMW and it's these cup holders. Unfortunately, there's no real option to, to really improve it. There is an aftermarket one that will actually make it so it's a little bit deeper, but it, it's the same height. So it's not going to prevent cups from tipping. I can't tell you how many times I've had my coffee cup tip over, spill all over the place. It actually spilled on Steph one day. Not the biggest fan of these cup holders. That's really the only complaint I have on the BMW. Now, eventually we will do a video on one year of driving this thing as a daily, but today it's just going to be a real quick repair. And all it is, this is literally, if you, you, you got to be able to do this on your own. It's, it's very, very simple. It's just literally two screws, which you can reach with just a regular Phillips screwdriver. Because I was worried that this would actually be a fairly hard repair, but it's not. And it looks like, oops, getting these screws out are going to be, come on. There we go. Uh, come on. I'm going to see. <laughs> Should have brought the tripod out here. Give me one second. Let me just finish pulling this thing out. It's definitely something you need two hands for. So there was a little piece broken inside here that lifted the top part up a tiny, tiny bit. And once it did that, it actually got caught on this brim. And this is made out of metal. So heads up, nice aluminum infrastructure. And when that happened, it, it actually just made it so that it couldn't just slide out straight. And also I lost one of the, the screws down inside the center console. Make sure you have one of these little magnet grabber things just in case. Now, the next thing we got to do is we have to put everything back together because leave it to me to have to have a, a wonderful issue where everything has to come apart. So that should take about two seconds and then we'll go ahead and reinstall the brand new super snazzy cup holder, which even though these are really cool, they are by far the worst cup holders I've ever had to deal with. Not because of quality of build, they are kind of chintzy for you know how expensive this car would have been brand new, but unless you're like hoity-toity and walking around with a little tiny cup, uh, this is like the worst cup holder. So definitely not designed for us Americans. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and install the, uh, the electronics back in here. Real quick though, I gotta say, because of the design of the aluminum infrastructure here, everything just clips right in. So once you get the plugs back in, which, oh, yeah, <laughs> peekaboo. Let me set you guys down for just a second. Let's see if we can't fish that wire back out. All right, try that again. So once you get the wire out, and it doesn't, it, it is like really, really just designed to barely fit. So we go ahead, clip our, our clip back in there very easy this whole design is super cool there's no screws holding all this stuff in so if you ever have to replace a module you literally just unclip it or you just take this part out put your hand up behind here and then on either side of the corners just push it out and then it just goes right back in very 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 cool so once that's back in all you have to do is move your tools out of the way. Don't lose these screws because you're going to need them. And I would recommend, there was a lot of junk behind that. I'll have to clean this little area again. You can see that uh, I'm probably not the only one that's had problems with it spilling all over the place. So we just close it all back up, line it back up. Probably one of those things where it's going to be easier with two hands. So let's just set you guys down for a moment. Make sure your screws are out of the way. And let's try to... Now this one is not a BMW exact replacement. Well, it is an exact replacement, just doesn't say BMW on it. So hopefully it's not one of those kind of sort of fits, but it really doesn't, which is kind of what it is doing right now. Oh, come on guys. So that's one of the big problems with aftermarket parts. They are less expensive, but boy, come on.
She's going to fight me, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and... No, we got to do it this way. She just does not want to go back in. That is a heck of a tight fit. I would not say that was the best recreation of a BMW part. She's she's a little bit wide. How does the screws line up? Well, at least the screws line up. So the next thing we're gonna do, go ahead, grab the screws. It is cold out today. We've had these nice, beautiful, not hot days, but fairly nice. And I just dropped the screw. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do this with two hands instead of just one, so I don't keep dropping the screws into random places. Seems like this has lost its magnetic kind of grab. So just slide that back in there. Don't lose a screw. Yep, that no longer is magnetic. That's weird. So let's try kind of doing it like this. It's the same way it came out. You just put two screws right back in. And this time we'll use the magnetic part so we don't lose them. Ooh. You guys are sliding away on me. Right in there like that. All right, guys, it was that simple. <laughs> Don't lose the screw behind the uh, the console because you will be looking for it and it is not fun to get. Sorry for my hand there. And uh, it really is very simple to just quickly repair this. and. It really is no mechanical skill needed at all. It is very easy to break, so I'm assuming I'm not the only one that's had these break on them. Especially seeing how there's like eight different types online. I did go for the $20 one, and I will post a link to the exact one I did get on the uh, in the description down below. And we just make sure our stuff is all nice and tight in there. It's not going to come sliding out. And uh, yeah. Very, very simple to quickly replace quite possibly the absolute worst part of this car. Everything else in this vehicle is absolutely awesome. I do have the the M5 series steering wheel for this. So at some point, we will have to uh, switch it over. It does need to be fully restored because it's pretty, pretty rough. But I did find a couple kits to be able to restore it. And yeah, I know this isn't an M5, but I do love the three-post steering wheel a lot more. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, actually, there'll be another video a little bit after this one, probably around five o'clock. So you have yourselves a wonderful day and I will see you shortly.